Hello, Sheree Warwick here with BlackBlockchainConsultants.com. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. So I just read a stat that said that 10% of the gross domestic product for the world is expected to be on the blockchain in, I think it's by 2025. And I'm going to uh, put in the comment section, I'm going to put the uh, where the stat came from. But anyway, so I did some research. I said, okay, well, how big is the world's gross domestic product? And in 2016, it was $75.4 trillion. So if we take 10% of that, they're saying that $7.5 trillion is going to be on blockchain by 2025. Okay, so we know that blockchain is going to be revolutionary. The question is, how do we capitalize on it? How do we take advantage of it? I came up with five points here and I want to share them with you. So number one is decide that you are going to participate in this economy. There's been a lot of conversation lately about the changing landscape of American jobs. The factory jobs are going away. Uh, eventually, the Uber jobs and, and um, some of these side hustles that people are doing are going to start going away as more autonomous vehicles and robotics start coming in. So now is a great time for you to just decide, first of all, that you are going to participate in this economy in some sort of way. Number two is take a basic course. Now, I am going to do a plug here. We have our basic course that uh, is coming from the Center for Blockchain Studies and the Black Blockchain Consultants Group. And it is the basics of blockchain. We've made it affordable and it's really, really well done. And it's going to give you, uh, it's going to give you a real understanding of how blockchain is going to be used. And um, it's going to enable you to be able to get in on this economy. So that's, that's number two is take a basic course. Number three is commit to a major. And what do I mean by that? Remember when you were in college or if you went to college, uh, there was freshman and sophomore year where freshman year was your basic classes. Sophomore year, you maybe took an elective or two, but you were still in basic classes. In the junior and senior year, you did what? You selected a major and you took the classes that were um, of most interest to you and based on the career path that you were looking to go. I have the same philosophy. I think that all of us should select a major. What could your major be? It could be healthcare and how blockchain is going to be used in healthcare. We have a gentleman in our group that is majoring in tokenization of assets and what that means and how it's going to be applied. We have other people that are focusing on cybersecurity and blockchain and how those two are linked and how uh, cyber is going to change because of the blockchain. You may decide based on an industry or based on a use case of blockchain what major you want to be in. But I really do suggest you commit to a major. So that's number three. Number four is study 30 minutes a day. I know we have kids, we have our lives, and, and we're thinking, oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? At the very least, you could get some Google Alerts or something that you do, you know, that kind of triggers you every day to say, hey, I'm just going to go and read the articles that's happening. First of all, for blockchain overall, uh, for example, yesterday there was an article about the Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein and um, his, he was speaking at a conference, uh, I think across the pond somewhere, and he was talking about how cryptocurrencies are being used for illicit activities and how they want to do a little bit more cracking down on the industry. So you want to know 
first what's happening overall within blockchain, crypto, etc. And then the second thing is you also want to pull certain pieces of information of what's happening within your major in terms of the types of blockchain applications that are happening blockchain projects that are happening who are the superstars within your major maybe you want to be a superstar within your major great you know you can you can start producing content as well as studying 30 minutes per day minimum um, and then the final thing number five is network so there are different places that you can network Number one, you could network with a group like Black Blockchain Consultants. And yes, uh, you know, we're, we're very selfish around here. We want you to network with us, but not for the reasons you may think. I personally believe that the more people that are involved with Black Blockchain Consultants, the more power we have in terms of our mission is to help everybody in our group either get blockchain jobs or, um, set up blockchain businesses, find blockchain team members that they want to work with, and build wealth through the blockchain. There was a lot of wealth created through the internet, and we missed out on it. There was a lot of wealth created in social media, and we missed out on it. We do not want to miss out on this next run. This is going to be huge, okay? So we want to network with each other. We also want to network with places like uh, at the Consensus Conference, if that's something you want to go to. You want to network at conferences in your own industry. So healthcare and blockchain conferences, why? Because right now what's happening with a lot of jobs and with a lot of opportunities is it's about proximity. It's about who knows you. Now there is this old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. I disagree. I think it's who knows you and who knows what you are capable of. And if you want to be positioned to flourish within blockchain, you got to do these five things that I talked about. So again, number one, you got to decide, I am going to make money in blockchain. Number two, you got to take a basic course. You got to know the basics. Number three, you got to commit to a major. You can't know everything. You want to commit and make top dollar at least. You want to commit to a major. Number four, you got to study a little bit every day, staying on top of it because this industry is just rapidly changing. And then number five, you got to network like crazy. Um, I won't even say like crazy. That's not true. You got to network enough. <laughs> um, make sure you're on LinkedIn. Your profile is updated. Get in some Telegram groups and go to some meetups or some live events as well. So that's it for me. If you want to either join Black, Black Blockchain Consultants or at least find out more, we are at blackblockchainconsultants.com. Um, and we also have a free report called Should I Become a Blockchain Consultant? You can um, contact us through our website and get access to that free report. I am Sheree. If there's anything that I can do to help you, I'm at info at blackblockchainconsultants.com. God bless you so much and have a wonderful day.